it's a uh, it's a uh, it's it's regrettably that uh, opening night. It's uh, close to our final night of this long, long, arduous seventy-two hour tour. Reese is tired already. Requested song, and I wrote it with uh, with um, uh, a, a gentleman named Will Jennings, who wrote a bunch of songs uh, for Eric Clapton and Joe Cocker, Steve Winwood. And I remember vividly going to his house about 23 years ago, and um, he says, "Joe, today is going to be the last day we write together." And I said, "Wow, what? what happened, Will?" He goes, "Well, you see, my friend, I'm retiring." And I'm buying a house in Santa Barbara on a hill overlooking the ocean. And um, he goes, you can see, Joe, metaphorically, after 40 years of being a songwriter in this hideous fucking business of music, <laughs> my ship has finally come in. Woo! And I said, wow, what was the song? Well, he goes, well, I wrote these lyrics to a ballad about a boat that was coming from England to America. And it was sung by, in his words, some Canadian chick. <laughs> and it turned out to be My Heart Will Go On, one of the biggest selling singles of all time. And I learned two things that day as a young, young man. One, all good things come to an end. Despite your best intentions, everything in life comes to an end eventually. Just have to wake up in the morning, shrug it off, and move on. Yeah, that's true. And two, as a 23-year-old young blues guitar player with about a net worth of $200, <laughs> I watched a man become what you can best describe as "fuck you, rich," right in front of my eyes. So we wrote two songs that. Called Woke of Dreaming, and the last song I ever wrote with him, God's Honest Truth, um, is a song called Mountain Time. Yeah!